welcome to SAP SD Configuration. My name is Keith Milford, and I am your instructor. In this lecture, we will cover customer hierarchy. This functionality is often used for sales reporting or pricing. You do not have to use customer hierarchy in your SAP, but many companies do, and it's good to know what's available. Let's explore a little bit the concept of customer hierarchy. Imagine that you have a whole bunch of customers that are considered large retail. Your sales team has told you that they want to see large customers broken out into national and regional type of customers. They also tell you that there are some reports that break this down even further to luxury and non-luxury types of stores. With the luxury stores, they tell you that it's important to know whether it's in the mall or not. For non-luxury stores, they tell you that it's actually more important whether they have a freezer or not. Assigning a sold to to the bottom of one of these branches effectively categorizes that sold to for all those levels. So in this example, we have four different levels and on the bottom is the sold to. Of course, not all of our customers are large retail, some may be gas stations or whatever classification is needed at the top. As a company, you can decide that gas station may have the same structure as large retail or something completely different. You do not need four levels for the hierarchy. It can be as many level as you need. Now, imagine that we create a sales order for sold to 103. The sales order will pick up the entire hierarchy and put them as partners into the sales order header. So if anybody was trying to create a report for all sales orders that were luxury in the national area, they would just have to restrict on sales orders with this particular hierarchy note. If somebody was trying to give a special discount for all stores that are regional and luxury, they can either find every single sold to that is associated with that area and do the pricing manually for each one individually, or they could do it on the hierarchy node and it'll apply to all of them below. Let's go look at some hierarchies in SAP. To view or change hierarchies in SAP, use T code VDH1N. Hit enter. Here SAP is asking what hierarchies we want to see. We're just going to leave these values for now and enter. Okay, so here's our hierarchy tree. We have large retail. Below we have two nodes, national and regional. National is broken down by luxury and non-luxury. That is further broken down by mall and non-mall and then we see some sold to's associated with all these. Instead of opening these one by one, there is a button that opens them all at once. If you had thousands and thousands of sold to's, this list would be too big. So what you want to do is get the customer that you want to see, go back to the selection screen, put it in, and this will limit it to the hierarchy tree that is specific to that customer. If I open this up here, this gives you a little bit more information. We will discover some of that information later on. Okay, so let's go create a new sales order using this sold to. Go to T code VA01. We'll just do a standard order here. Use sold to party 100243. Let's just pick one of these ship twos. And navigating to the partners tab, we see a bunch of new partners that we didn't have before. We see the names of large retail, national luxury, national luxury mall. That's exactly what we had in our hierarchy tree here. You might be asking yourself, but wait a minute, Keith. The partners on the sales order came from the customer master partners tab, didn't it? Let's take a look. We'll go to XD03. Here's our sold to partner. And I do not see the national or the luxury or any of those nodes here. So the customer hierarchy nodes are partners, they're just done in a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sold to to show you how that is done. Go to T code XD01 to create a customer. We're going to create a sold to in the sales area that we've been using. I'm going to make up a new sold to name and fill in the other required fields on this page. Moving on to the sales area data, and on the bottom of the sales tab, I see customer hierarchy. So SAP has given me the opportunity to assign this to a customer hierarchy at this moment. Let's go ahead and do that. I have a level four node here that I wrote down. Let me type it in. 
Very good. Let's go make sure we filled in all the required fields for this customer. And after we're done, we can go check out our new hierarchy. All right, our new customer is 100268. Let's go back to the screen that shows our hierarchy. Go back to the selection screen. We're going to look at the very top node so that we can see all the customer hierarchy. Very good. Let's expand this and look for our new customer, which is 100268. So you see, you can actually assign your soul twos while you're creating the customer. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I create a hierarchy node? Well, that is actually a customer itself. It's just a different account group. So when I open up the account group here, there's one called Hierarchy Node. We're going to keep our normal sales area and fill in some information for the Hierarchy Node. Maybe we're going to call this node Local. If you've seen my video on customer account groups, you might think, you know what? Maybe it doesn't make sense to have an address for a Hierarchy Node. And you can take those away. But since they're here, I will fill them in for now. The sales area data is just two fields. We'll talk about those later, but for now I'm just going to save. Okay, so that's customer 700092. If you notice, we still haven't assigned this to the customer hierarchy. We can do that with our new customer hierarchy program in T code VDH1N. I'm going to limit it to our new node just to see what happens. So that was 70092. Press execute. And the screen is entirely blank as expected. So let's go ahead and create this new assignment. This top section wants me to put in the higher node that we want to relate to. So I'm just going to use that top node of 70061. And then this bottom one is our new node that we created and we want to relate. Okay, so our tree now shows the large retail and our local node is under it. I'm going to save. Now I'm going to go back in and I want to look at the entire hierarchy just to see if everything looks good. I put in that top node, expand out the entire tree, and look at this. Our local node is now at the same level as the national. We can use the same technique to add subnodes below it. Now let's go take a look at the configuration. Go to T code SPRO, hit SAP Reference IMG, navigate to Sales and Distribution, Master Data, Business Partners, Customers, and Customer Hierarchy. We begin with Define Hierarchy Types. There is only one entry, and that's actually pretty normal. Almost all SAP implementations, if they use Customer Hierarchy, only use one. Let's take a quick look at the customer hierarchy in VDH1N. Notice the A here, that is the hierarchy type. The 1D partner function is the hierarchy node one level up from the sold to. Next, we'll set partner determination for hierarchy categories. If you watch the partner function video, this should look pretty familiar. Let's start with the customer master. As usual, we're going to start with the partner functions. We see here 1A, B, C, and D. These are the hierarchy nodes that show up on the sales order. Notice the A is off to the right. That is telling SAP that this is for customer hierarchy type A. So SAP realizes these are not normal partners. Also notice this column, which is the superior node. So for that first line, 1A has a blank. That means it is the top of the hierarchy. 1B is going to be associated with 1A, and 1A is the superior. Now that these hierarchy nodes are defined, we tell SAP which account groups are associated with these. In my setup, I'm only using account group 0012, which is the hierarchy node. The other entries that are in here are more because this is a test environment and somebody decided to throw in a bunch of values there. Okay, so let's go look at the partner determination for the customer master. We were looking at STAN for the sold to partner determination procedure. And we don't see the 1A, 1B, 1C, or 1D in this list. The reason is the configuration is actually referring to this page, but the customer hierarchy is done by a completely different T-code. 
So we did have to create one A, one B, one C, and one D, but we don't put them into the customer master like normal. However, we do have to put them into the sales document. Let's go to TA for a standard order, and we see these four right here. We are telling SAP we want these, but there's this indicator here in this column called B. Let's open that up real quick. B is indicating that it is a customer hierarchy, and the table that is for a customer hierarchy is KNVH. So SAP has built in special logic within the partner determination for the customer hierarchy nodes. Let's talk about source real quick. A blank source is assuming it comes from the sold to, but let's try to put a ship to in there. When I press enter, SAP is deleting it out. It's overriding my decision. So let's try again. Let's just put it in for all of them and press enter and it deletes it out still. SAP is hard coded to get any customer hierarchy from the sold to. I see some boxes that are check marked. That is for the not modifiable. So taking a look at our sales order, notice how these are not open for me to change. That's what that check mark is doing. Okay, well maybe I want to allow the user to change that. So I'm going to take these off. But when I press enter, it puts it back on. This is all to highlight that, yes, customer hacking nodes are considered partners, but they have a lot of special programming going on in the background. Okay, so let's go save and let's move on to the next configuration. This is assign account groups. SAP is trying to help us stay a little organized with how we're doing our customer hierarchy. This first one I'm highlighting here is saying that the account group sold to can be a child of a hierarchy node. The next one I'm highlighting is saying that a hierarchy node can be a child of a hierarchy node. In other words, level two can be a child of level one. Okay, so let's go to the next one, which is assigned sales areas. This is another tool from SAP, just trying to keep you organized. I will look for our sales area of DUS3, and here we have one entry. What this is saying is our sales area of DUS3D100 can be a child of a DUS3D100. You can use this to keep your customer hierarchy aligned, but you can also use it to have all your customer hierarchy point to one single sales area. That is for efficiency purposes if you have a lot of sales areas that use the same hierarchy, but I'm just going to move on to the next configuration. This last configuration of assigned hierarchy type for pricing allows you to tell SAP which sales orders are allowed to use customer hierarchy in determining price, and you can tell it which hierarchy type you want to use. It looks like here our standard sales order is allowed to use customer hierarchy to do price calculations. Okay, so that's it for customer hierarchy configuration. Let's go back to our example of the customer hierarchy and take a little deeper look at the fields here. I'm looking for the relevant for pricing and the relevant for rebate fields. If you don't see check marks on the hierarchy nodes in this area, then even though a sales order says you can use hierarchy to do calculations of pricing, it still won't let you. So in order to get a check mark there, we have to go to the customer master. Let's do this for one of the nodes and we'll pick 700070. Okay, so I will go to the customer master in a new session. XD02, because I'm going to change the customer master. Put in our customer here. And if you remember, the hierarchy node was very simple. See these two check boxes? These are how we tell SAP that we want to allow this node to do calculations of price and rebate. SAP now warns us that we should refresh our customer hierarchy. So I will go back to the customer hierarchy screen so that I can refresh this node and we see the check marks come up now. So this node can now be used for doing rebates and pricing. Okay, so like I said before, Customer hierarchy is not required. You do not have to use it. So what are some of the main benefits and drawbacks to customer hierarchy? One of the benefits is you can get some pretty good reporting if you do it right. 
Another benefit is you can get pretty efficient with your pricing. You can now clump together certain customers and do a discount for all of them at once. And the same logic applies to rebates. One of the drawbacks is that the sales order is always based off of the sold to customer hierarchy. Many times you want to segment from east to west or certain store sizes and that's very hard to do if it's based off of the sold to. There are certain tricks you can do. For example, you can write your own program to override what SAP is doing, but that takes effort and that introduces some possibility of bugs. Another drawback is, as an organization, you're gonna have more difficulty maintaining your master data. As you saw, the screen to maintain customer hierarchy takes a little bit of used to and it takes a little bit of skill. So not only does somebody have to take the time to do it, but they also have to make sure that they do it correctly. And the last drawback is that pricing can be confusing without even introducing customer hierarchy. When you start doing things that are tricky like that, you introduce the possibility that something can go wrong. So should your company be using customer hierarchy? That will depend on a lot of factors. Well, that wraps it up for customer hierarchy. Thank you very much. My name is Keith Milford, and I hope you enjoyed this video.